Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Lashonda B and I am back with another hairstyling video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a style that I like to call helicopter ponytail. I will insert a um, photo so you guys kind of know how that looks and what I'm talking about. But I did this style once before and posted on my Instagram and you guys kind of went crazy and was just commenting like, can you do a video on this style and giving me a ton of compliments. So I just decided to go ahead and do the style again and actually deliver that video for you guys. So what I'll be using today is I'm going to be using Neo Curly's new and upgraded sunflower oil the packaging is new you guys they just upgraded and they did just do a restock so go ahead and buy up from them you guys know i crave and just go crazy about this brand their products are really really good and i also used this um this brand on my hair when i was a curly natural as well so yeah it's really good you guys i'm not just you know talking your ears off and then i'm also going to be using some extended headbands you guys to kind of achieve this look because we do not want to be putting too much tension and pressure on the locks so yeah i'm also going to be using this hair scarf here you guys know that is my favorite hair scarf and then i'm going to style my edges with diva by cindy's edge control and use this edge control brush which i kind of need to clean you guys but we're not gonna worry about that right now we're gonna you know finish the style off and we'll worry about that later so yeah so first I'm going to go in and hydrate my hair using Heritage Stores Rose Water. Um, I love this stuff for hydrating my hair, you guys. It gives no buildup. It's really, really good. And it's only like 8 to 10 bucks at Ulta Beauty. So I'm just going to spray my hair down with this. Get it nice and moisturized. And you guys, I am not doing this on retwisted hair. You can do it on retwisted hair or not. Honestly, I don't think it'll make a difference. So yeah. And then I'm going to go in with Neo Curly Sunflower Oreo just to seal that moisture in from the rose water. And we want to give it a little shine towards the front part. Because although we aren't retwisted, we kind of want this to look really, really good like we are retwisted. So this smells, y'all, this smell, this oil smells absolutely amazing. I feel like all of their products just smell so freaking good. Oh, this is this is really, really good, you guys. <laughs> I'm kind of lost for words while I'm trying to explain it. But yeah, we're going to rub that oil in. And then we are going to get started on the helicopter pony. So first with the first layer, I like to go in with the headband that is the most extended because of course I'm going to have to wrap it a little bit more. And I'm also going to be using a brush from my flyaway hairs, you guys. So let me just angle my camera down because I really want to show you guys how I do this. Um, so I like to flip all of my hair towards the front when I'm doing this and just use my hands kind of like a comb and just rake through the locks to make sure every lock is like going in one direction. Then you're gonna grab, gonna grab and kind of circle it and put it into one little ponytail. And so I use this and I like to just stretch it like that that way you don't have to do too much wrapping and sometimes some of these fall off honestly i just leave the back ones out and we are going to try to make sure i actually got myself on camera we're going to wrap that right and then with my stretched one i like to let it go go back in wrap Make sure I'm getting good. Y'all, this is a workout hairstyle. <laughs> Let me just say that. And then the remainder, I kind of like to just wrap it around as many locks as I can, honestly. Because we do not want the headband to be loose. And I bring it down to kind of blend in with the rest of the headband. So you guys can kind of see how that is looking. And I'm just going to pull this up. And we're going to tuck that under the rest of the locks. So... It can kind of blend in. I, I really don't want any locks left out, but the two locks in the back of my hair is the shortest, so they tend to fall down. So yeah, that's how it's looking right now. 
So now you guys, we're gonna go in with the second headband. And honestly, it doesn't matter the size for the second one as long as it can fit. We're gonna pull those short locks up that just seem like they may slip out. We're gonna hold that just like this, take a nice grip. And we are gonna wrap that second one around. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, and do the same that you did at the bottom. Get as many locks as you can towards the end so it can be really nice and tight. We don't want the headband to be loose. It's giving, it's giving queen. It's giving. Now, we're gonna go in with the third one. Y'all, I'm out of breath. I told y'all this was gonna be a workout, so be prepared, sis. Get the water if you need to. But we're gonna go right on the top. And honestly, you do not have to add a third layer if you do not want to. I just like to. Boom. It's it's giving. It's giving Egyptian clean black goddess. So with this hairstyle, I'm going to have to scoop back a little bit so you guys can fully see um, towards the end. I'll do that. But I forgot about a product. So I use Pattern Stronghold Gel for my curls on the ends. You guys, this gel is so amazing. I did a review on this as well using their um, hydrating mist. So um, yeah, I'll put that in the description box so you guys can check that out. But I literally just use this. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my fingertips. And then I literally just, you know, define my curls out. So this is how my little coils are looking after adding that gel. Y'all, that gel is legit the truth. And when it shrinks down, it still gives like this really coily um, defined look, which I love. Y'all, I like, I locked my hair, but I still have to keep some type of curl. Um, so I just love this, like it's giving. So next, I'm gonna go in with my Perfect Edges Edge Control by Diva by Cindy. And before I actually do my edges, I'm gonna take a little glob of this Edge Control, rub it in my hands, and I like to spread it on the ponytail to mold the flyaway hairs. And then once I put my scarf on and leave it on for a little bit, you guys are kind of see like it really does help mold those flyaway hairs and kind of hide them a little bit. It's already looking better and I haven't even brushed it out yet. Um, excuse me if y'all have my boyfriend in the background. He's just really chatty on the phone right now. But yeah, I just wanted to do this quick video for you guys because you guys always ask about this style. So there we go. So next we're gonna actually go in and do our edges. I just like to dip my edge control brush right into the edge control, you guys. I do not have any time to waste, honey. <laughs> Okay, and I don't do no type of crazy edges. I just literally slick the little hairs up, try to make them look nice. I might do a little swoop or two, but you know, that's it. Nothing too crazy, but actually just style your edges how you want them, how you like them. I like simple edges, but I feel like this style will look good with the crazy swoops and everything, so. Do what you like. Just wanna give it one little swoop right there. And then we're gonna bring that down a little bit. Right, period. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that scarf. I like to fold my scarf on my edges so it can lay directly on the edges. Like we know for sure it's gonna take care of those edges. And I'm gonna leave this on my edges for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes. And I'll be back with y'all. This is giving it's giving okay so i'm back you guys i let that scarf stay out for 10 minutes you guys can see it's looking very flat flyaways are gone i'm just going to go in with my brush on the side parts Ooh. Let's not, let's not, not. on the side parts and as well as pull up the back there because we want everything to look really nice 
and flawless and this is it you guys honestly do not take a long time i would say roughly um 25 to 30 minutes um if that like it really does not take a long time we're just going to layer the headbands there slick up the edges to your liking and take care away uh take care of the flyaway hair so this is it you guys so thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe let me know what brands you guys want me to try out as well that's really good for locks i feel like i usually use like just regular hair care on my hair which works but i know there is a lot of good lock brands out there and i just haven't ran into one so comment below some really good lock brands that sell really nice um lock products and i'll look into that but thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe and you're gonna sell peace out y'all